Hey guys, so it's time to compare Huawei's latest beast, the P20 Pro, up against the iPhone XS. Uh, phone's so good I've been using it as one of my main phones because of the camera primarily. Uh, very innovative three camera system uh, with some amazing uh, software for the camera. Uh, so let's just have a look here how they do compare. We're going to start them up at the same time. Uh, we do get Kirin 970 versus your Apple A12. I think the next Mate 20 Pro comes with Kirin 980, so that might be a little bit of an improvement, but the 970 is still very potent. Uh, it's just the gaming which is a little bit weak. So iPhone here, a little bit snappier booting up, but not that far behind the uh, P20 Pro. Uh, so you can see both of them coming with very vibrant OLED displays, although I'd say that the iPhone is a little bit more uh, brighter here, even on like the Macs you can see uh, it is a little bit duller on the P20 Pro. But let's have a look at the basic apps first, see how they do compare. Huawei's come a long way when it comes to the software which used to be absolutely awful uh, but you can just see from the camera here the amount of effort that Huawei does when it comes to that I mean it does look a little bit iPhone like but the amount of like modes that you get in here is absolutely insane uh, so yeah let's have a look at Urban Outfitters iPhone there, Fiverr, and the P20 Pro comes back, SB, so iPhone again, a little bit back and forth here, P20 Pro, meet me, So like the P20 Pro again. Uh, so excellent performance here from the Android uh, contender. I mean, look at that. That is some nice optimization. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the web browsing as well. So let's uh, BBC. Go. Cool. Oops, went into it that time. Let's just go back. Uh, what else can we try? Verge. Good old Verge. Go. And go. Oh, that was the P20 Pro, I do think. Uh, there, only just though. Loading the ads as you can see, but that was the iPhone coming back, GSM, GSM Arena, so it's go, and is it down here somewhere, I uh, just got to put the R, there we go. Go. P20 Pro again. I did see. Uh, so excellent uh, browsing performance considering it doesn't use its own browser on the P20 Pro. Uh, what else do we have? We do have the. Uh, I'm not doing another speed test because the iPhone seems to be very strong there. Uh, but what we do have here, you know, in terms of the P20 Pro to me is just a more interesting phone. Uh, particularly, as I said, when it comes to the camera. But you can also do some pretty awesome stuff when it comes to the gestures. Like, for example, you can drag your knuckle across. Usually you can. Um, to do like a split screen kind of thing. Although it doesn't seem to be doing it tonight. It does work honestly. Uh, you can also use the knuckle gesture to do stuff 
like snipping the actual what's on the screen. Uh, I'm pr quite surprised that you don't get split screen multitasking on the iPhone still. It's like 2018, you would expect that. Uh, also, as I said, I mean, that camera mode, the night mode on this is absolutely amazing, really. Uh, you know, it just uh, completely transforms a lot of low light shots. Uh, we don't get any 4K uh, video recording on the P20 Pro at 60 frames per second, which is a little bit annoying. You know, I do think the video recording is a bit of a weakness. iPhone's way better usually when it comes to the video, but yeah, I think uh, you can see the P20 Pro very competitive here against the latest iPhone. I wonder they are kind of like mocking the uh, Apple release in their little car. I did see. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here, hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.